Okay, shalom, shalom. Welcome to Allah. Koholoyimla, Yehovah b'ashem Yahushai b'hashem. Rechah hakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. The body spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say for to all the Akim and Akhwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehovah b'ashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Jachananawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And I just wanted to go off into this article in Euro News. It says Good Friday tradition in the Philippines in the Philippines reenacts crucifixion. So these people, man, they 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 do this every year. They go pretty hard about um as you can see, they even have the to the point of the Roman soldiers in it. And there are a lot of Israelites over there in the Philippines. You know, Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We're everywhere. And we look like all these different nations. A lot of these Filipinos over there, they are um, Israelites. But it says the Good Friday tradition is rejected by the Catholic Church, but draws huge crowds of devotees and tourists to the Philippines, an Asian bastion of Christianity. So we hey we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. It's not a whole lot to this article, uh, but you could you know they have this YouTube. Um, matter of fact, let's just play this. Let's see if it'll play. It's lock you. Uh, it may not play, but anyway, I can just read it out. Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> hey, but anyway, uh, but um, now in some of these cases, some of these these guys they actually get nailed for real. They get nailed for real. Yeah. It's like you kind of sitting here, but yeah, they get they get nailed for real. You know they you know they you know they be beating on their backs and and until they just bleeding, you know. And they take this shit serious, man. But you know, let me just grab a quick scripture. It's not gonna be a long lesson, but they have that zeal. They have a zeal for, for, you know, for Yahweh, but it's not according to knowledge. And as you can see, a lot of those, um, you know, they have a pretty dark complexion. They, they have some melanin, you know what I'm saying, or some pigmentation about them. Not that that, you know, makes a difference because there are Israelites that's out here, man, that look like so-called white people. There are Israelites out here that look like every nation on the planet. You have to know that. If you're new to this truth, you have to get that black-only crap out of your mind, man, because all Israelites are not going to be looking like, Viola Davis, man, or, you know, John Schaff, or, you know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, or Wesley Snipes, all Israelites don't look like that, man, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, it's that simple, man, we are that speckled bird, you know, a lot of our people are like that cake unturned, you know, and it just is what it is, man, let me see, uh, where's that scripture at, and really they going off, super duper off, it says, um, Romans 10 and 2, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. See, they don't understand that, you know, the Lord is only coming for the Israelites. They don't even understand that the, the Israelites are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you know, Haitians, Jamaicans, Hondurans. You know, the, you know, they don't understand the basics of the scriptures. They don't they, they really think that this white guy, blonde hair, blue eyed white guy, he's coming to the earth to save everybody that, you know. <laughs> they're people that are actually enslaved. The so-called white man has enslaved the entire planet. The animals, the fish, <laughs> the sea. I mean, I, this man has destroyed this place, man. 
So there's supposed to be somebody that's of that same race that's supposed to come back and clean up all the shit that they messed up. Come on, man. That's not scriptural. And it's, and it's actually silly, you know, but it's coming to a point where people are going to see. And, and the prophets are out here, man, on a day to day basis, man. And we're doing these lessons, you know, trying to edify our people. And, and it's really for the elect only, man, that's going to get this um this truth now. There was a um, a video, I think, was surfacing around about two years or so ago, where there was a Filipino over there that was calling on the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So he knew the true names of the Father and the Son. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is waking up the children of Israel, man, the elect of Israel, no matter where they're scattered at. If they're part of the elect, the Lord is going to get them, man. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. And the rest were blinded. <laughs> the rest are going to be blinded. They're not going to know, know what's up because the Lord is only dealing with the elect of Israel. He's only dealing with Israel, but he's only dealing with the elect of Israel right off, man. And that's something that, you know, we have to bring out because people are about to go to church because they calling it today Good Friday. You see what I'm saying? Well, what's so damn good about it? You in captivity, you know, then they're going to go to church on Sunday. They're going to they gonna, they gonna go and praise white Jesus, which is idolatry. And the Lord said, have you know, let's get that. Um, th see, this is something. It's like you. This is something that. Our people just won't get in their damn heads right here. The actual law, the actual Ten Commandments, the average person, they, they're not keeping the Ten Commandments. They're not, they're, they, they don't keep the basics of the laws, man, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, are we saved by these laws, statutes and commandments? No, we're not. But still, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So we're going to do the best that we can to please our father. So how do we do that? By trying our hardest to do what he said to do. So-called white man, not into nothing like this, man. The so-called blacks, the Israelites, you know, they're, they're not into this stuff, man. You go to the average Christian church, man, they going off in there. They, they, they It looks like a, a damn whorehouse. You look, you, you can't tell if you're in a club or, um, you know, because <laughs> cause everybody in there dressed like they at the club. The women are scantily dressed. You know, it's just ridiculous, man. Exodus 20 and verse 1. Let's start there. It says, and Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You get to talking to these people about white Jesus is an idol, and they'll tell you. You can go to the scripture, oh yeah, we know he's not white, but. They'll give you that but every single time, but. It doesn't matter, he loves everyone. No, 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 when, you, when they get to talking like that, you have an idol now. You, 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 you have a God before him. When you get to talking like that, and then you lying on the Lord, the Lord changed not. It says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I am the Lord thy God. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And our people, man, they really hate the Lord. And you know Esau hate the Lord. These 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 heathen nations, they don't want nothing to do with the Lord, man. They, they use the Bible, you know, and, and get to talking to you about, you know, obey your masters. And, you know, thou shalt, you know, they'll use a few different things in there. Thou shalt not get, because see, America has some laws where you can't just kill somebody. They're going to come and swoop you up, right? They do little stuff like that. But at the same time, they'll write into law where a woman can go and kill a baby, man, when she gets pregnant. Or they'll, they'll write into law where your son can be a little girl now. Or your little girl can be a little boy. See, they, they front like they're about life, but really they're about death. It's like a facade. It's smoke and mirrors, man. But I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. I didn't want to keep this long. Because this right here, like I said again, this is crazy, man. Because, you know, if you look into this. A lot of these people, they really, they be net, they really do this shit on a year to year basis where they actually have somebody hammering real nails through their hands, man, and feet. Trying to portray what the Lord, did. and it's actually a mockery, man, because the things that our Lord went through, they, they have no idea what our Lord went through, man. 
We, we you know, because this is doing too much. That's doing too much. They doing all that and don't understand repentance. That's the crazy part. This whole thing that the Lord done for us is for us to repent, man. And, and he has given us a, a, a opening to come back to the father, man. He's that mediator. He's that one that that stand. He's our uh, uh, basically our lawyer, man, our advocate, so to speak, man. He done a lot for us, man. When he done that, so for these clowns to be running through the streets, whipping on themselves, you know, uh, uh, just trying to um, portray that 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 whole thing of what he might have went. Nah, man, you don't need none of that. You don't need to be doing none of that. I wouldn't be doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of scary, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey. That's all by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He actually has them doing that, though. You know? He has them doing that. Because this, this truth is not for everyone. There's going to be people. There's people all over the planet that's got their way of celebrating this particular weekend, so to speak. You got your Ramadanans. You know, you got uh, 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 Jerusalem over there with their, their so-called Passovers. All this wickedness going on, man. Ain't you know they? they it, it's just ridiculous, man. None of none of it has anything to do with repentance and salvation whatsoever. And that's what the whole gospel is about: the repentance and salvation of the children of Israel and the elect of Israel, like that, man. So you know, I'm not gonna keep it long. I just wanted to touch on this because <laughs> this shit is crazy, man. It says the church leaders, let me get this part right here. It says church leaders in the Philippines have frowned on the crucifixions and, and self-flagellations, which they should. Saying Filipinos can show their deep faith and religious devotion without hurting themselves and by doing charity work instead, such as donating blood. Now, where in the scriptures does it talk about donating some blood? That's the so-called white man's um, um, game, man. Eh? It's this man that wants to uh, uh, pint up every fucking body's blood. Like he's a damn vampire or something, man. Where in the scriptures does it talk about you, you know what I'm saying, um, um, donating blood, man? Matter of fact, you're not supposed to be dealing with your skin like that, man. Let me see, uh doing charity work <laughs> don't like donating blood get the hell out of here man but that shows you how, how far off these people are leviticus 19 and 28 ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead see you're not supposed to be doing any of that stuff man nor print any marks upon you i am the lord yeah how will and, and really that goes off into, you know, like, um, cause you know, it's a lot of, a lot of these different nations and different cultures. They, you know, they, they do a lot of needlework. They do a lot of printing, you know, when, when, when one of their loved ones die, hey, uh, the Americans do that. They, they notorious for that shit, especially the so-called blacks. You know, they, they had a rest in peace with the hand praying emojis, rest in peace, mama or rest in peace, brother, or, you know, but anyway, you're not supposed to be injecting anything into you to draw out blood, man. To give to another person. That's not scriptural. You're not going to find that in the scriptures, man. Because now you're trusting in the so-called white man's science, which is crazy as hell. But this is the way, this is the, this is the church, this is their, their leaders telling them that, you know, Hey, they better off doing the shit that they doing and, you know, to be <laughs> be uh, uh going somewhere and letting somebody draw two, three pints of blood out of their asses and then giving you, you know, a cupcake or something to get your sugar levels back up. This man, man, the, the so-called white man got to be taken out of out of uh, uh, just out of <laughs> this man got to be taken out of power, man, because nothing is going to last. This man is all over the world. That's that's the that's the philosophies of the so-called white man. Throughout the entire globe, this man has a system set up where people can go and 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 and, and donate blood. They actually what they call it plat. It's a bunch of plasma centers um around um where I live at. New ones, brand new ones. Buildings they done built up with Jake running off in the plasma centers. Cause I was sitting at a Walmart. It's one right right along where a Walmart is at. And I was sitting in the parking lot, and a Jake walked up, you know, in my car window or whatever before I got out to go in. 
and he was asking for some money, you know. And um, he was like, yeah, I just came from, you know, trying to donate blood because they pay you pretty good for it. Supposedly, I'm not sure how much they pay. But I seen one chick, she was like, yeah, I be getting my hair, my nails done. That's just extra money. I go in and just don't, you know, they give me my little pay. And that's what I get my hair and nails done with, girl, throughout the months. I'm like, like, but that's where he was coming from. He was like, yeah, I done donated too much blood. And, and, you know, I wasn't allowed to do it again today. Like, you know, Jake just running in there, just being, just being absorbed all for the sake of Esau Edom's, the so-called white man's money with his face on it, man. Just trying to survive and live, man. We need out of this place, man. This place is terrible. This place is wicked as all hell, man. But I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.